Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? Well, I'm pretty excited because today I just finished taking my T's exam, or the Test of Essential Academic Skills exam. This is an exam that you need to take if you're going to be going into the healthcare field, like nursing, physical therapy, or in my case, occupational therapy. So I took the T's exam. This is my second time taking the exam for this year. I have to take the exam so I can apply for the admissions program this fall. And I took it already, and I got a 72%, which for me being an overachiever was kind of bothersome because I studied for it, and I did all the prep work that I could do for it. And the day before the test, I had off so I can spend the whole day studying. However, the essential downloads they gave us or the recommended study material that they gave us was not working and it was not downloading and I spent most of the day going through technical difficulties uh, emailing and phone calling different people who didn't know what to do in my particular situation so after the T's exam was done I got my 72 percent and I was upset but I was like okay at least I have something and uh, what ended up happening was I got an email back from my college and they said I could take it again and I took it again which happens to be today February 12th of 2022 pretty exciting so I got done taking that earlier today, and instead of my 72%, I did a little better this time. I ended up getting a 78.7%. All right, there's the, there's the confetti we've been looking for the whole time. That's pretty cool. So what it's going to do is we're going to take that 78.7% and combine it with my 3.8 GPA, and it'll be my admission score so I can enter the Occupational Therapist Assistant Program at my local community college. Pretty awesome. So that was that earlier today. Um, right now, I have to get ready, though. I have this uh, crusty mop right here. What little hair I still have left needs to come off because I am not just a college student. I am not just a YouTube maker person, but I am also an actor. Yes, I am going to be playing the role of Cupid later tonight. And I thought that getting freshly shaven and dressed at nines could be a good thing. So how about we just go ahead and use a little cinema magic and skip to the next scene. Oh, well, the lighting in here is much more flattering, I must say. But now I have to get rid of this hair, so let's just go ahead and skip ahead once again. Oh, that's better. We just got to get the rest of it shaved off in the shower, which I'm not going to show you that because, well, I have to go in the shower without clothes on. And that's not appropriate for YouTube. But what is appropriate for YouTube is explaining why I had to retake my T's test. I had to retake my T's test because there was a number of technical errors on their end um, with the testing proctor I was using as well as the software I had to use. I'd use an extension for my Chrome browser known as Proctorio. This is a horrible, horrible program. It's nothing but spyware. It takes complete control of your machine and you have to give it all the permissions necessary for it to function before you can take your test. And you essentially have no choice. There's no other thing you can do or way to take your test but to use this, at least if you're in my particular circumstance at my particular college. So what I decided to do was use a laptop that was not my main laptop. A laptop didn't have any information on it that I didn't care about. And hooked it up to my old Brio camera that I used to use when I first made this YouTube channel. Lately I've been using this phone instead of my DSLR camera that I've been using uh, for majority of my other videos for the second half of the year of 2021. And I want to get back to editing videos, which is exactly what you're seeing here today. And if I get back in the habit of editing videos and making better quality content that way, I don't have to just do these impromptu videos where I'm just kind of chatting about whatever's on my mind that moment. Uh, but hey, what are we doing right here right now? We're doing that essentially. So I got to get back to work because I need to get to my job on time and I can't get to my job on time if I'm busy talking into my phone. So let's snap the fingers, get out of the shower, and get this dome shaved right about now. Oh, that's a lot better. Very smooth, very good. And I have this spot on the back of my head. Sometimes when I shave it, it bleeds, and I didn't have to deal with that this time. So, hey, I'll take it. It's a small win. So when I got a 72% on the T's test the first time, I was very disappointed in myself, and then I looked at the national average, and I realized the national average is under 68% across the board for all categories. And I did a much better job in the math than I thought. So this time when I took the T's exam, I got my 78%, 78.7 in fact, and I realized that even though that sounds incredibly average to me, or below a B, that it's actually significantly higher than the national average and the national uh, mean, median, or, or mode, I get those three confused. Mean is the average, median is 
the number that is in between, right in the middle of all of the set of numbers, and the mode is the most frequently occurring number. Haha, -ha, brains. So uh, I feel a lot better about that. I feel a lot better about that and also feel a lot better knowing that my score got bumped up a little bit more, increasing my chances of being able to get into the program. However, there was a little fiasco with the address that's on my ID. I had to flash in front of this proctorial program that I'm not very too crazy about. And because of that ID, it flagged the system that I have a different address on file, which was my old address. I never changed my address at MCC, and you have to have proof that you... Address, your address has changed. So uh, I uh, sent in my, my form that tells them that my address was changed, and they said that it was due February 1st. The problem is, is that they sent me the email saying this problem came up on February the 8th, and I only today got that turned in after I took my exam and retook my exam. The original deadline was February 1st for everything. So I'm assuming that that was an error on their part, and there's a little bit of an allowance here, but hey folks back at home, cross your fingers for your old pal Fleck here, and and uh, hope that that goes the best. So uh, right now I'm standing here. I just got out of the shower and I need to put on some clothes because I know Cupid is generally naked with a diaper, but I have to drive a vehicle about 45 minutes. And if I look at my imaginary watch on my wrist here, I'm already eight minutes late. So I got to shut up and skip to the next scene. All right, now we're on our way to the gig, running a little late, and that's fine. I'm going to do the speed limit anyhow, and luckily for me, I plan on getting there a half an hour early, meaning that if I'm 20 minutes late, I'm still 10 minutes early. That's pretty awesome. And it won't take too long to throw on a toga and call it a day, because apparently I'm going to be the type of Cupid that wears a toga, a cute little hat, and uh, has a certain role to play throughout the night with uh, personifying Cupid, or actually representing Cupid, because you're not personifying Cupid. Uh, Cupid is already a person. Unless you call Cupid an angel, and then that's like a supernatural thing. I don't know. I'm not a semanticist or a worder person. All I am is a uh, ridiculous performance artist, college student, new to be dad, YouTube wannabe big star person guy heading on my way to the gig. And I'm going to go ahead and snap my fingers and skip to the next scene because I should be focused on this driving. And I am, but I should be more focused on it and not making YouTube videos. All right, I'm at the location. It's apparently at Sidetracks in Depot Town, Ypsilanti, Michigan. My keys fell in the center console, and I'm running a little bit late. What am I doing talking it in my phone? Oh, yeah. I'm documenting what I'm doing. Skip to the next scene would be probably very appropriate. Didn't see that coming, did you? Neither did I. This is the costume I'm wearing. It looks like I have a Cupid bow and arrow right here. It's uh, The bow is a little, uh, a little floppy, but you should see it on a good day. But yeah, I got my Cupid bow and arrow. I got... A little heart on my back here. I'm in the dressing room in the back. I got my toga on. I got love in my heart. Twinkle in my eye. Ready to go make some magic happen. Put down the bow and arrow, and let's see what happens next. All right. I'm done with the gig, finally. I had a lot of fun. The audience, or the crowd that's at the restaurant, had a lot of fun, too, it seemed. Uh, a lot of tables were very receptive and wanted to get selfies with me and to, uh, you know, just hear what I'm doing. And I was just kind of walking around just trying to lighten up the vibe, tell a couple jokes, and and it was a lot of fun. There was, the props were a lot of fun to play with. The bow and arrow was was a, a hit. Uh, one side of it was a little floppy, and if I flipped it around, it looked like it was straight and, and able to shoot the arrow. And I, the whole time I didn't realize that there was this, this plastic rod inside of the bow. I can just adjust it to make it more functional, but I liked the fact that it was kind of dysfunctional. So that was really fun. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun, actually, just walking around doing this. I love character acting. I love just making people smile and laugh. And when you're looking as ridiculous as I did tonight, it's very easy to make people smile and laugh without actually having to talk or tell any jokes. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, but, yeah, I am uh, going to go and, and, and take them up on their offer. To, they're going to feed me some dessert. And uh, the people uh, I, was, I was entertaining and walking around, they were very generous tonight. I didn't expect... The best tips are from when you don't expect them. You don't expect... When someone gives you something, it's a, a gift, a, a tip, and that sort of thing. So that was wonderful and very well received. Thank you very much, Sidetrack, for having me come out tonight and do this. If you haven't been to Ypsilanti or to Sidetracks in Ypsilanti, Michigan, I advise that you check it out. The food is absolutely to die for. I saw the food being delivered to the tables. Uh, it looks very good, and everyone says the food is delicious. I had the chicken and strawberry salad earlier. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. Very nutritious, too. It wasn't overly seasoned or uh, too much dressing. I don't like when they drown the salad with too much dressing. It's just kind of disgusting. It's like a, a soup sometimes. But this was perfect. 
wonderful, wonderful food. The staff was very warm and welcoming too. And they look like they really enjoy working here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next scene now. I'm going to go take them up on their offer to give me some dessert. And we'll see what happens next. Now we're back at home. Uh, it's the next day though. Uh, now it's officially Sunday and I got to get this video edited and sent out. So to sum everything up, the ATITs exam went a lot better than I expected. Um, I wish I had more study materials and more time, but I'll take the 78% most definitely. The, the Cupid gig was, was ridiculous. I loved it. I had a lot of fun. The, the crowd had, had a lot of fun with it as well. And we got done with taking uh, our little dog to the vet today and, and just get some shots and everything checks out pretty good with him. And I think it's time for me to uh, get to editing this. Now, I hope I remember how to edit things properly. This is a good experiment for me to learn, relearn how to edit. When you're doing it every single day, like I did last year, it's one thing. But I haven't edited a video since, I think, um, September, October? October, to be fair. We'll get right back into it, though. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and just remember to be the best version of yourselves. I'll keep it nice, short, and sweet. Uh, until next time, my friends, 